Corey is checking out uh, art made of airplane parts. Yeah, this guy actually, he's on Etsy, mm -hmm. right, Cor? He's really cool stuff. Uh, he's all all over the place. So uh, you can find uh, Captain Lockhart just about every place. We'll let him uh, uh, toot his own horn on where you can uh, track him down. But uh, yeah, wild bird art. Uh, it, it is amazing. And what you're looking at are pieces of aircraft, uh, decommissioned planes, obviously. And uh, we've got the man himself, uh, Captain Lance Lockhart, with us. Thanks for uh, getting up early and all. Hey, well, let's get right to it. What are you holding in your hand well, this there? This is a turbine section from... Uh and I've uh, repurposed it into a mirror. So this is something where people like the industrial art. This is an actual aircraft part. When you say turbine section, what is it? What well, part? This, is, this would be like a seal in part of uh, part of an aircraft engine okay. that's been disassembled, and this is no longer serviceable. Gotcha. So guys like me come in and do something with it. Well, it's it's impressive. Now we're standing in front of uh, a part that I think we all recognize uh, from an aircraft. What uh, what plane did this come from? This is from a Piper. This is a wing desk. So I painted this and distressed it to give it that uh, really vintage look. Something like this can be available online, but this is an actual wing piece, yeah. you know? Well, so if, you've got a, if you've got a pilot or an airplane lover in your life, this yeah. is perfect. Let's take a little stroll around here and uh, give folks an idea of uh, the wide breadth of uh, options here. We've got all kinds of windows here. Well, what aircraft are they from? Tick them off this there. This is from a Japan Airlines Boeing 777-300. This mm -hmm. airplane it was less than 20 years old. Wow. And so this is this plane still in production, and it retired in San Bernardino, California. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm happy to offer them for the collector. <laughs> I love it. And uh, wow, how how do you come across your parts? Are uh, you must have obviously you're not you're not out in a like a black beanie and a face mask at night well, taking these of uh, planes. You have connections. You know it, what? It's I have a passion for this, and people that see that I have a passion for this reach out to me and say, hey, I have pieces for sale or pieces for trade, and I have a lot of support with the aircraft boneyards, and there's uh, auctions. And so I collect these pieces, and this is sort of my storage area. Right. Where Let's go see some of your finished products then. Yeah. Uh, as we swing on by here, boy, everything from propellers to, uh, as you say, many uh, engine parts. And boy, once you get a hold of this stuff, it really turns out to be quite beautiful. Well, I'm glad you came, Corey, because I needed to clean this room. Oh, good. And <laughs> so, and uh, this is an area where people can walk through and look and see things, how they could be laid out in their own home. Mm -hmm. So I have vintage propellers, I have mirrors, I have flags. These flags I manufacture. And then the one there in the corner is actually from Boeing 737 aircraft skin. Uh -huh. So the stars are airplanes. Love so, it. So I like to repurpose things and I take my inspiration from my customers. And uh, it's just a lot of fun for this me. This might be one of my favorites here, this highly polished uh, set of windows there. Quickly, where are they from? That is from an old Northwest Airlines DC-9, but in the history, it was also Eastern and Hughes Aircraft. Oh, boy. I love it. Well, next time we get together, ladies, we're going to find out how all of uh, these parts in here become these beautiful parts that you've just seen here in the showroom, Wild Bird. That's W-Y-L-D-E-B-Y-R-D. Wild Bird Art. We'll find out uh, where you can get all this stuff as well. All that in just a couple of minutes. Looking forward to it, Cor. Yeah, thanks, Pretty Corey. neat stuff, huh? Really neat stuff. Yeah, wow, really cool. amazing. How much fun is this? Corey is checking out some art made of airplane parts. Yeah, it's really, really cool. Hey, Cor. I know. I love this place. Uh, I've been here before to see Lance. Uh, he's the pride of Sioux Lookout, Ontario. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> How many people grew up in Sioux? How many people were in town when you lived there? About 3,500 people. Perfect. Yeah. Well, you've got to be uh, the most famous resident of Sioux Lookout, I'm sure. Um, and you've been flying for Southwest for 13 years. Where, where did you get your first flight? My, my first flight? Mm -hmm. uh, my parents had an aviation business called Lockhart Air Service. Uh -huh. And I guess what? I started as the carpenter. Oh, yeah. And then my first commercial flight was from my parents. Wow, that is great. Well, you have really turned your love of aviation into a really uh, cool business. And congratulations, this man is in the top 1% of Etsy businesses, of, uh, which is very impressive. Etsy has exploded, and that's where people can find you yep. most easily, right? You and your products. Go through uh, wildbirdart.com or wildbird.com, and then there's a link. 
from that to my Etsy page, which was Wild Bird Art, one word. Let's show people how to spell Wild Bird Art, by the way. Yeah, look at these rock. Normally, we'd pull the shirt up because we're yeah. fox, show what's underneath. Yeah. But we'll just show the shirt for so now. So Wild Bird. Uh, my kids' names are Lucas Wild uh -huh. and Judah Bird. Oh, so perfect. that's there. It's a family business. Very good. Well, let's. It's not all big, huge pieces. We'll see yeah. more of those in a moment. But you've got some really fun little bits so for what, folks. What makes it unique? This is actual aircraft skin. This is FedEx 727, 737. This is a Delta Airlines 747 piece. You can see the cut right out of the skin it's of the plane. Right out of the skin. Virgin Atlantic 747, Delta 757. Six. This is neat. This is the Puerto Rican flag, all made out of aircraft skin. <laughs> so it doesn't matter what size of skin that I make, whether it's a big piece or a small piece. So this is a piece I made for you. What? Out of aircraft skin. You know what that says? Uh, if I had my readers on, it I would It says know. Georgia Louise. Just a little oh, piece for you. Our little granddaughter. She's just turning one this week. You are going to make our daughter, Haley, so happy. Thank you, brother. You're welcome. I'm going to put that right there on my finger. Yeah. Well, let, let's step back a second so we can see just quickly how this process goes. So I'll source materials. This is from a FedEx 727 that's retired. Obviously, it's not on the airplane. That's either part of the E or the F. Okay. So I bet I, you see painted on the side. Yeah, so I take that, and I'll strip it down. This is a piece that I've already stripped, but it still needs to be sanded. And then this is a piece where I sanded and polished and put a mirror in. So beautiful. And who, who's your typical customer? Well, the aviation enthusiast. It could mm -hmm. be somebody that flew that airplane or somebody that worked on that airplane. Or it could be just somebody who loves aviation. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. And, hey, Celeste, Renee, it's yeah. not all hard metal parts. Look at this. So oh. people always wanted to do this. Yeah. What happens when you take the life jacket. Oh, yeah. yeah. Pull it out of the bag, put it over your head, mm -hmm. and do something fun. Stand by. Yeah, do something fun. You better hook me up. I'm very nervous <laughs> because in the, in the unlikely event of a water landing, especially in Arizona, yes, th no. this. Unless you're over one of our gorgeous lakes. I think we can get this. Okay, <laughs> let's just do it like that. Land in the middle, though. And. Oh, man. Should I secure mine first or my child? Well. We, I think we got, let's just get ready to, well, yours, are you ready to yeah. pull? I don't know. What am I, what's going to happen? Well, what's going to happen is we're, this is going to make YouTube again, Corey. Okay. <laughs> are you ready? Pop it, brother. Yes. Hold my hand. Or link my Hold elbows. My hand. Okay, let's go. Retool All right, one, hand. two, three. <laughs> <laughs> Brian, cool. look at so Corey. It's, uh, this carbon Can you breathe, Corey? And it's very cold. Uh, Corey, I don't think yours is secured you very well. We're down here. <laughs> we're we're floating down here. Come get us. So Wild bird art. Oh my goodness, that we're, face. How, we're on Etsy, aren't we? We're on Etsy. Wild bird art on Etsy. Thanks for coming, Fox. It's always a pleasure to host you. Brilliant. Cool. I feel the same way. Okay, I think somebody needs to pop it. He doesn't look like he can breathe. No. Right? Rescue them. It's Fine. just squeezing they too need hard. They rescuing. Wild art. Wild bird art. Haven't you always wanted to do it's that, so though? cool. Maybe? I have done it at a, at a, um, a li in a live shot. Oh. The same thing. And it does actually kind of almost cut off a little bit of circulation. Wow. Um, fun to watch anyway, though, when you're not yeah. the one right.